Hi, it's Elisa from Photobox Designs. I'm here today to show you how to change a grid that has a square, has a squares as a template um, into a grid that has rectangles. Some people like to shoot their boxes, but they have built or use a cardboard box that's rectangular in shape rather than square. So there's a way to modify the templates. You may have already purchased them from us or somewhere else. Um, so there's a, you don't have to repurchase anything within a square shape. I mean, in a rectangular shape, but you can just modify the templates. And here I'm going to show you how. I have here a client photo that I have already blackened out. So you can't see the face or the body, but um, this is a rectangle. If you can see here, I'm going to just drag it in my layers panel up to the top. So you can see that there is a rectangular square. I'm just gonna call it, um, it's, a rectang it's a rectangular box, I should say. I'm just gonna call this photo, okay? So what I would do is, this is a template that we sell in our store. This is a general nine box square, you can see here. Um, <clears throat> this is our usual template. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the photo that I've imported in here and I'm just going to drag it down so that, that it is underneath my white grid layer. Okay. You can also see that all the clipping masks have been turned off, but I do not want you to forget about them. So if I turn them back on, you'll see you can't see anything because clipping masks are just really squares and you're going to want to adjust the clipping masks and the grid at the same time. So that way, if you decide you want to use clipping masks, you'll still be able to use them. So for now, um, these are all the clipping masks that come with the template. I'm going to close them. I'm going to shut the eyeball off. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background. She suddenly decided she wants to get into my lap and is crying a little bit. So um, sorry about any little crying noises. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure that my rectangle box sample is in, um, is, is below the grid so that I'll be able to kind of size it to the box, right? Um, I'm going to grab, I'm going to go to my clipping masks. I'm clicking on it in the layers panel. I'm going to also now hold down the shift button. And I'm going to click on the nine box square grid. Both layers should be highlighted now, okay? And what I'm gonna do is press Command T to open up the transformation tool. And it will be able to transform both the clipping masks folder, including all of the clipping masks that are inside of it, and the grid at the same time. You can see here, all the clipping masks are still highlighted. So you want that. Command T. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it all and shrink it just a tiny bit. Okay. Just a little tiny bit. All right. Just, oops, actually, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to, sorry, I'm going to enlarge everything just a little bit. And I'm going to find the edges of my box and do that even a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Find the edges of my box and make sure that <clears throat> the template is now along the edges of the box. Okay. And I'm going to hold down my shift button because normally if you're using Photoshop CC, if you click on the uh, corner and you start to drag, it will keep the shape the square shape in all the boxes. It keeps the aspect ratio. But in this case, I do not want to keep the aspect ratio. I want to change the aspect ratio to a rectangle. So I'm going to hold down my shift button, grab the edge here and pull it till I have like a rectangle that fits basically the sides, the sides of this, of this box. Okay, I'm not so concerned about the top or the bottom. I'm really just looking for my edges to be pretty close. So I'm gonna just keep zooming in and out a little bit till I get my edges right. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Oops. And then I'm gonna zoom back out. Actually, I'm gonna also make sure that my top looks pretty good. All right, and zoom out a little bit. 
holding my shift key down now, I'm going to pull down again. And I'm going to go up again. I'm sort of just stretching the template till it fits the top and the bottom part. So I'm just changing the aspect ratio from square to rectangle that will fit your exact rectangle. All right. So that looks pretty good to me. All right. It may not be perfect, but it looks pretty good. As you zoom in, let's see. And I'm going to press the check mark. But now, of course, it fits, but I've cut off the top and the bottom, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back to um, clicking Command T again. And this time, I'm not going to hold my shift key down because now I want to keep the aspect ratio of all of these rectangles in here. So I'm just going to pull it and I'm moving my template and at the same time, all right? Don't worry about the, the box anymore. It'll fit still because now you've changed the aspect ratio, which is the size, basically the, the size of the top and bottom versus the size of the left and the right to formulate the rectangle even though we've shrunken our rectangles, it is still the same uh, ratio as the box that we were working with. So I'm going to move this, center it here. Now at this point, you could do two things. You could say, I still want this to be a square. Great. So I can go like this, press, um, <clears throat> press this, check mark, and then I can go just on my square, white square grid. Okay, right now I'm only gonna work with my white square grid. Don't forget, whatever you do with your grid, if you change anything on your grid, if you move it, if you resize it, always make sure to do it at the same time with the clipping masks. So I'm gonna click my clipping masks on, you see they still fit, all right? There's, they're rectangles now. I'm just gonna shut this photo off for a second. I'm turning my clipping masks off. All I'm gonna do now is grab this mark, rectangular marquee. I'm on the layer of the nine box square. And I'm just going to now rectangular marquee. And I'm going to go to edit, fill, fill white. Okay. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Edit, fill, fill white. Great. Um, I'm going to grab my clipping masks and my nine box square white grid, which is now a rectangle, again, by pushing down my shift key so that they're both highlighted. Command T, and now I'm gonna just kind of shift it around a little bit, maybe even enlarge it a tiny bit to change the, the up. Oh, and so now I can tell that everything is centered. So yes, now my borders on the left and the right are larger than the borders on top, but I don't mind that. If you mind that, then um, you can move it around anymore, a little bit more, whatever you like, whatever you, whatever kind of border size you want. You can also go into your cropping tool at this point if you wanted to. I'm going to click off delete crop pixels at this point. Um, and you could also now, let's say, change it into a different aspect ratio. Maybe you wanted to make it an 8 by 10. So you could change your aspect ratio to an eight by 10 and try to make it centered. If you press check, it will, of course it leaves you with the top and the bottom. You would have to again, do the same thing, go back and take your rectangular marquee and put it over just the layer that has nine box square and paint in the white, or you could just paint it white. Um, I actually don't want to do that. I'm going to go backwards. I liked it as a square. I just will step back. And now I have a box that should fit, custom fit, I guess you should say, the photo. So let's turn the photo layer back on. And now I'm going to take my photo layer, Command T. I'm going to shrink it, place it under one of the boxes, shrink it again until it's exactly where I want it. And now, 
you basically have, so I don't want, you basically have a custom size template for your rectangles. And you can just, of course, adjust it any way you like. Okay. And you would go ahead and edit this box just as if you would any other box. You can also take this photo, zip it up to the top, open up your clipping masks, decide which clipping masks you want to clip it to. Maybe you want to clip it to the center mask. Don't forget, you have to actually drag it in the layers panel over. So this will be the middle box. I'm going to then right click, create clipping mask and clip it right into the center box, the center rectangle. It's easy as that. And then you can go back in and adjust whatever you need to adjust so that it fits perfectly. And that's how you adjust your template. Thanks for watching and feel free to contact me at Elisa at support at photoboxdesigns.com or on Etsy. Uh, hope to see you soon. Oh, and join our Facebook group inside the photo box, Photoshop and photography, where you can get lots more tips and some freebies and lots of support and the whole entire community of people who like to do box photography. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.